Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. <clears throat> hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 onto the Patriot Scorch 256 gig NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD. Now, you're not going to be able to see that SSD right now. It's actually underneath the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra gaming card. Now, don't freak out. I know you've probably read a lot of information out there that says these things get incredibly hot, but actually, I've tested the drive already and it stays cool, even though it is underneath of that video card. But anyway, come over here real quick and uh, let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and plug in that thumb drive and then we're gonna go ahead and boot into the BIOS. This is part of the darkest light build, so I'm using the Z390 dartboard from EVGA. So once we're in the BIOS, we go to the advanced configuration setup. Yours might look a little bit different, but we enter this part and now it might look relatively similar. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the boot section and select that PCIe SSD as the boot drive, but hmm, I don't see it here. Uh, I might be down here. No, nope, I only see the USB key. Don't worry, there's a good reason for that. So just to make sure your drive does show up, go into the advanced section and go into NVMe information page. And you can see your Patriot Scorch M.2 drive right here, 256 gigs. Okay, so now that we know it's there, now we have to establish the Windows Boot Manager on it. So we're just gonna go ahead and go into the boot section. Again, verify that the USB key is set to be the first bootable drive. Also, verify that you have your boot mode select onto UEFI rather than legacy, okay? So then from this point, we just click F10 and yes to save and exit, okay? And so now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and boot into the thumb drive. Okay, select whatever version you want. I would recommend 64-bit. All right, so then from this screen, you're gonna go ahead and select the language to install, your local time and currency, and your keyboard input method. For me, everything's default, so I click Next. Then I click Install Now. Okay, at this point, you're going to enter your key. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and click I don't have a product key. I'll enter that in later. And then you select your version. Mine is Windows 10 Pro then click next and then make sure to read through the licensing terms incredibly important information I just read all of that and now click I accept the licensing terms and click next and choose custom install windows only advanced okay from here now you're going to see your drive drive zero unallocated space it shows unallocated because there's never been a partition on it there's never been anything installed onto it, so it's a bare drive. Then it's also going to show any other drive you may have. Now, this is my external USB drive. Okay, so I definitely don't want to wipe that out. Another way of knowing what drive you have in there, in case you have multiple drives, is, of course, probably that's going to be the only drive that shows unallocated space. Now, if you have more drives and some may show up as unallocated, I recommend turn off the computer, unplug those other drives, then boot back into it with only the Scorch installed, select the unallocated space, and then click Next. So at this point, it's going to install.
All right, now all the files have been copied over, and now the system's going to reboot any second now, and then we'll continue with the installation of Windows 10. Okay, so then I'll click restart now, or you can let it wait those 10 seconds. I just clicked it. Okay, now since we selected the thumb drive as the boot drive, we're gonna go ahead back into the BIOS. And enter advanced configuration, enter setup. Now we go into boot, and now we see the hard disk Windows boot manager. And to elaborate on that, we can see now we have down here UEFI hard disk drive BBS priorities. If we go in there, now we'll see the Windows Boot Manager Patriot. That's how we know it's the Patriot drive. Okay, and now since it configured that for me, all we need to do is F10, save and exit, and we'll continue with the installation. All right, so here we'll select the region we're in. We're in the United States, so we click Next. And then the right keyboard layout will continue with US. And then we'll skip to add a second keyboard layout since we only have one keyboard and don't need a second layout. Okay, so now we can select our Ethernet device if we have it connected already to Ethernet or we can select Wi-Fi if we have Wi-Fi. I'm gonna go ahead and skip that for now. And connect to save time later, no thanks. Then we're going to select whoever's going to be using this device. So I'll just type in Iggy and then I'll type in a password, one sec. Then we answer some security questions. So one sec while I do this. Now it asked me three security questions for security purposes. I didn't show you what those are, but just wanted to let you know. And I don't want Cortana as my personal assistant. Well, you can accept it, but I'm going to decline it. No, I don't want to connect devices, but you can if you wanted to. Then you can leave this all default if you'd like, or read through everything one by one and disable everything. All right, so that's it. Now we're done installing Windows 10 on the 256 gig Patriot NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD. So now at this point, all you need to do is install your chipset drivers, your ME drivers and video drivers and all that other good stuff and you're set to go. You got a brand new PC or at least a brand new install which really does feel like a brand new PC. But anyway, this is Iggy again, showing you guys how to install Windows 10 on the Patriot 256 gig Scorch NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD. Iggy out, see you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.